but I don't know if there was any single like ultra fucked up actor here. I think that if, besides Slick, obviously, if there was one thing that was highly questionable, it would have been Mitch, Barry, and Maya going over to Adriana's house to talk about that twit longer. I think that's like fair game, but Miss wasn't involved in that at all, so. Yeah, but it was orchestrated by, do you understand? Like the entire thing was sat down, but like he can't go over there. Do you understand me? He can't go over there. He knows that. So he sat them down, right? Like the, 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 this, oh, mm -hmm. this was explaining the call. I, I realized, I guess this, this was in a clip in the tweets. Oh, I just no. don't think that that will ever come to pass, uh, well, or come to light, I should say. Well, um, it, but that's because we, need, we would need that crucial piece of yeah, information about Miska being that, the, yeah, the orchestrator. The only yeah. way that would happen is... I'm in the shower, bro. Okay, I'll come out. I miss you, dude. Yeah, I'm just I've, on a in YouTube prison. <laughs> you texted me, like, I've made sure you're good. I've missed you, bro. Uh, how's life? How's, uh, how's the... What do you... Wait, have you given a formal reaction yet to the... <laughs> To the slot statement on Twitch? Yeah, I saw it. I was gonna, I was gonna make this tweet, but because I don't mind the ban, mm -hmm. I think they could have, because uh, like they pretty much said that they said what I what I said on Twitter that people are doing what they did for OnlyFans, but for the codes, right? They've just moved it to Discord and they're putting a link to Discord into their Twitch. And then the code stuff's happening there, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, they didn't hold the same consistency to the OnlyFans stuff, but that's not really bad. I, mean, I think it's a false equivalent to say, oh, then you need to get rid of OnlyFans, right? Because gambling's much worse than that stuff. But anyways, um, I don't think it's bad necessarily. I just find it very... I don't like the way business is ran in this world. Twitch didn't come out and say oh you know what we find gambling bad let's let, let's remove it like they literally catered and caved in to their pg-13 stars on twitch that aren't even mad about gambling they're mad about the people and the pie they can't get a piece of because of the foundation they built which is one that isn't re representative of who they actually are they hate going live they, they hate their they're they miserable going live they hate it that's why they stream two hours every four months you understand me sure to be fair hassan is a fucking, <laughs> a fucking champion when it comes to putting out hours but i know what you mean about the other guys right yeah you, you understand what i'm saying so mm -hmm. anyways the, 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 so as far as that goes i just found it very like corrupt and here i'll just read you the tweet i was going to tweet out mm -hmm. um i just didn't have enough uh characters to like uh, add the part i wanted to add in so that's why i didn't tweet it out mm -hmm. yet but i put in quotes we will continue to allow sports betting and I put a, you know, yeah. dash, I was like, corruption at its finest. If you're gonna ban slots, roulette, and blackjack, then ban sports betting too. Only reason you don't is because you have your hand in a $13 billion NFL cookie jar. Like, I was gonna tweet that at Twitch, obviously with their $13 million NFL contract and, you know, fan duel and all this shit, playing ads everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's obvious why, you know, sports betting is, I mean, it's literally what Slicker was doing. Yeah, you know, here's, doing slots, roulette, if you right? ever get like, into an argument for this, can just bring this up, okay? okay People yeah. talk about, how bad gambling is on Twitch because one, minors get involved. Two, you're using these online like slot things. And um, three, like when did you start doing Gamba on stream? So, uh, I did it 16 months ago. Okay. The funny thing is that the impetus for this change of gambling came from Slicker, who one, is not a minor. <laughs> Two, yeah. didn't do slots online, he did sports betting, and three, started getting addicted before he even started on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, three years ago, like, yeah. Oh, that is so funny to me that like, he was it the is. one that caused the big change, and these policies would affect somebody like him? Not at all. Zero impact whatsoever. That's very funny to yeah. me, but yeah. I know, it's 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 very corrupt, and it's just, uh, it's just so disgusting. Like, just ban, the, ban it all. Like, if you're gonna come out with this bullshit protecting this and that, like, what the f they banned four sites uh, and they said u.s licensing and the fucking stake has u.s licensing stake is a u.s fucking site like like the fact they put those four sites without doing research of u.s licenses and u.s sites like it just shows you that this was something to cater to the audiences of the people that are making a big deal out of it that's all it was it, it wasn't an actual belief like they left every sort of gambling up that is the most damaging and the most available. And sports betting is the most normalized thing, not only for us fantasy sports available still. Mm -hmm. Shit, they, they got us in the fantasy sports, obviously not betting, but fantasy sports at age 10, right? And then at 18, you switch over to this and you get on a fake account and you start doing fantasy sports betting, right? Like, what the fuck? The most, 
like the deepest shit that is accessible to children and 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 catered to children is the one thing they didn't ban but then they ban like it just it i i hate that just be consistent with your shit if you're gonna ban slaughter and blackjack throw the ban on sports betting as well and hey f it i'll say hey, it is what it is i'll grab, I'll grab a poker deal right mm -hmm. and yeah i think poker should be banned too in my opinion here's why uh -oh. Here, i shouldn't say poker being banned here's what i should say so I have a lot of friends on my Discord call. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he wants me to say his name. He's a large streamer. The way he got into slots is, are there was an American poker site. ACR. Okay, once, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. There's an American <laughs> poker like site that they don't allow instant withdrawals, which as you and I know, sometimes there are you know, reasons why they can't. But the main reason is to get you to look at the other things on their fucking uh, yeah of course because uh, why do i want to lose access to my money for like three to five days or some bullshit right exactly so i, I have a, a good buddy of mine a very large streamer mm -hmm. um in a certain game category of role play <laughs> okay that was an avid poker player on one of these u.s sites and they, they didn't allow on some withdrawal and guess what on these poker sites what, what do you think they have they have a slots section you yeah, of course. Me? A lot of these, because like I, because personally, I personally, um, and some people might disagree with this, but I personally don't think I don't view poker as gambling the same way as other games. Because you're not playing against the house; it's a game of skill. You can win consistently over time. Um, I think that poker is fundamentally different than gambling. So I'll say things like I generally don't like to do gambling sponsors because I generally don't like gambling. So I don't. I, I generally not support it. Um, but any poker site that offers gambling usually also has a section for like a small section for slots or roulette Blackjack, or like other roulette. Yeah, yeah, almost yeah, all of them. Of course, do. card games, mm -hmm. all card yep, games. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And that's the issue, right? Because they get you there, unless they allow the instant withdrawal so you can just play poker and get out with your money, right? Mm -hmm. And give me one, I gotta close this door. So anyways, so anyways, uh, 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 yeah. The, and the argument that poker isn't gambling, like I agree with you at higher levels or maybe the level you play at, it's not. Oh no, yeah, right? but there are definitely people that treat poker as gambling. That, if you're gonna say that, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. Most that's people true. do. Like, it, it, yeah, it's the same. It's the same argument as you know, uh, the the higher up, you know, roulette, blackjack, things of this. Like, mm -hmm. the, the the way they play, they're minimizing, you know, house edge down to the one percent that it is. You know, or the fifty one forty nine, whatever the fuck, right? Like, mm -hmm. but the the majority is going off of a gut feeling. It's going off of the fucking luck of the flop or the fucking river, right? Like, sure, they're yeah. not playing the correct way. But yeah, at the highest levels of poker, I'd, I'd agree with you, right? Mm -hmm. It's not gambling. It's, it's, it, it's, it's more strategy than it is gambling. There's a little gambling involved, but mm -hmm. it's more strategy, and I think that outweighs the gambling. But for, for, the, for the most part, that mother is gambling. Sure. The way it's played, at least, by these idiots. But yeah, I just didn't like the inconsistency of their... Uh, like, the, their ban was just everything that every PG-13 streamer is about. When, when I say PG-13, I want to clarify, since mm -hmm. I should clarify. I'm not referring to, like, you know, a Choco Bars that is actually, like, a kind, you know, human being, and that's, you know, how she is on and off stream. I, I'm not referring to that as PG-13. I'm referring to the ones that put the face of PG-13 on, but in mm -hmm. reality, behind the scenes, they're complete fucking scumbags, <clears throat> right? I, I'm going to read this real quick, okay? Um, OTK yeah, statement. Ahead. To the OTK community, when OTK was formed nearly two years ago, we strived to create a gaming organization that embodied our values as creators, gamers, and individuals. Yesterday evening, a series of clips and content surfaced relating to one of our founders. Due to the seriousness of what's been brought forward, we have begun the process of contracting a third-party legal organization to investigate the issue in detail. In the meantime, Ms. Kip has been placed on leave and will be stepping away from his organizational duties pending the results of this investigation. OTK strongly condemns sexual harassment, assault, and bigotry of all forms. We appreciate your support and patience during this time and will provide updates as we receive them. And then Ms. Kiff has tweeted out a statement. <clears throat> hey guys, to update everyone, we found Crazy Slick. He has not harmed himself. After hearing from Adriana and the numerous other women who share their experiences with him, it's clear that he is not the person he made himself out to be. In terms of his living situation, Slick has been told to vacate our house as soon as possible. I appreciate the support of those who are brave enough to come forward with their stories about his behavior. A little while after Slick's misconduct came to light last year, I made some inexcusable statements on an alt stream after some chat messages got to me. To Adriana and all those affected by sexual assault, I'm sorry for those statements. Sexual harassment, regardless of degree, can never be considered small, and while my intention was to clarify a misleading chat message, I chose my words poorly and my response came off as downplaying what should never be downplayed. 
Additionally, a series of private messages from 2018 have been posted where I said some reprehensible things. I've been open about my past many times on stream and will address it again here. I was a dumb, edgy guy who said a lot of stupid things to my friends to try and come off as funny and cool. I can't change what I've said, but I can change who I am and how I conduct myself. I'm proud of how much I've grown these past four years, but I know that there's always room to improve. I'm sorry to everyone affected by the situation. I made bad judgment calls based on what I was led to believe and I deeply regret it. I also want to apologize to OTK, our staff and our partners who put their trust in me every day to represent our organization in the best way I can. OTK has informed me that the organization is in the process of contracting a third party to investigate the actions above. During this time, I will take a leave of absence and be stepping away from organizational duties. Damn. Well. Um, well, do you have anything to say? Mm, listening to you, go ahead. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. I don't know what else to... Yeah. He didn't touch the cover-up at all. Well, I mean, technically, he wasn't involved in that, right? That was, um... I don't want to say that, like, that was Maya. But, I mean, like, technically, Maya was the one over there. And, um, yeah. Um, do you want me to drag Devin in the call? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I've been talking to Devin Holy for shit. We're like a day. Four people away from a <laughs> scuffed podcast, <laughs> bro. Doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm, have you announced the uh, the thing? Oh shit! It's the scuffed podcast. <laughs> Jesus Turns Christ! Boys. The scuffed podcast. My man, how are you, Train? I All missed right. you. I missed the two rolls. I'll do the intros. <laughs> Shut the f up. Stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Scuff Podcast number 159. Jesus. With my co host, Devin Big Cock Nash. <laughs> can we Next get in the top we... right corner? Oh, wait. On the top, on the bottom right corner, we have somebody that's feared by all, loved by all, loved by few, feared by all. <laughs> Destiny. Cock. Fuck. I've lost <laughs> Are you good? I've lost, <laughs> uh, I've lost the touch, guys. I've lost the touch. Holy <laughs> shit! I need to. I, oh my god! I've lost the touch. I got to run at least six or seven podcasts before we get to this point again. Um. Fuck. What was it? Oh, I now forgot what I was gonna say. Fuck you. Um. What's up? Uh. The MISCIF thing is a super standard agency PR response, right? So, mm -hmm. like, the way that, that is exactly what I would do mm -hmm. if I was trying to protect someone through Novo. I would go get, you know, quote, a third party. I would say, okay, step out of the, the spotlight for a while, which really means nothing, right? Like, we're stepping back from our duties. Like, what does that objectively mean? Like, like he can just kind of hang out and for a couple of months and not appear on content. Mm -hmm. And then he shows up again later when the news cycle gets rid of this and th is focusing about something else. And meanwhile, the third party investigation from whoever they contract that through is like, yeah, everything is cool, right? Like, the, I, I've seen this happen it's it's actually so crazy that this doesn't happen more often because this happens in like Hollywood and entertainment all the time. Mm -hmm. it, it, to be it, clear, it's like yeah, with the way you're phrasing it, there's nothing wrong with this. Like this is probably what they should be doing, right? So what's so? Hmm. What is what? What do you define as should be doing? <laughs> like, is this the best response they can give from a PR standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like, I, I mean, like, if if you were gonna hold yourself accountable you do something like i'm, I'm gonna step down from my duties like like indefinitely like i'm i'm leaving the org we're not gonna see well, that right but i'm just saying like yeah i mean what do you mean by that or wh who do you think it, so so it, yeah, it, if you're if you're a ceo or an executive who has committed a serious ethical violation mm -hmm. then, then i would argue that the ethical and moral thing to do is to separate yourself from your organization and and, and possibly your platform i'm not saying that Ms. Kiff should do that or that's the situation i'm just saying that like mm -hmm. if that's if that's the case that's that's what would actually there would there be some actual action yeah right? so well, this i doesn't actually change anything i agree with you one million percent um however also and i'm the most honest motherfucker here because i'm banned from twitch so i don't have fuck all to gain from you motherfuckers okay um, i should talk on twitch while i'm on twitch. yeah sure sure okay i'm just saying i'm just saying i legit have no 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 pony in the race or no horse in the race whatever the fuck um had xqc if he wants to join you can always message me um i don't know 
If Miskiff did anything that was really fucked up, do you think? Mm, I haven't been following the, the drama. Mm -hmm. um, there's just been so much. <laughs> I've been focusing more on the, the gambling I thing. really do believe that at the end of the day... I know what... I, I think know. that at the end of the day, I, I think that all of this was a really unfortunate set of fucky things, but I don't know if there was any single, like, ultra fucked up actor here. I think that if, besides Slick, obviously, I think that if there was one thing that was highly questionable, it would have been Mitch, Barry, and Maya going over to Adriana's house to talk about that twit longer. I think that's, like, fair game, but Miz wasn't involved in that at all, so. Yeah, but it was orchestrated by, do you understand? Like, the entire thing was sat down, but, like, he can't go over there. Do you understand me? He can't go over there. He knows that. So he sat them down, right? Like the, 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 this was, oh, mm -hmm. this was explaining the call. I, I realized, I guess this, this was in a clip in the tweets, right? Like in the call, the, the, this one was being dis discussed, right? The, the, what Mitch relayed to me and Barry uh, like substantiated because they were both there, mm -hmm. right? So Mitch talked about what happened at the house and then Barry talked about what happened in the apartment at Adriana's, right? Like, what was going on was an orchestration, right? And manipulation, right? Like, the, he knew that Maya was a trustworthy figure on the, in the Twitch community, right? One that could be related to, trusted, right? Was soft-spoken. Sure, but right? like, even, let me say that all of this... But, but, but when you, orchestra, when you mm -hmm. orchestrate that, mm -hmm. and you know what you're doing when you send them over, right? Like... And the, and the excuse is just inquiring about it because it's our friend. We wanted to know what was going on. Like, you can acquire in a lot of ways. There's, well, there's, there's a couple big things with this. So, number one, Maya didn't say that. And so, the assumption that I would have to make is then, you're essentially saying that Maya is throwing herself under the bus for Ms. Kiff, which I don't believe she would do that because they, to say it lightly, I don't know yeah, how but, much is probably going to but their breakup was pretty rough, right? So, I don't think that Maya is taking it. I don't think she's about to fall on her fucking sword for Ms. Kiff. I don't believe that to be the case. There's a lot. Right? Uh, there's a lot you don't know, I think. But that's, sure, but I, I don't that's think that's. Fault. that's okay, not sure. Your fault. If, yeah. But that's regardless, not your fault. Let's, say, um, yeah. let's say that that is the case. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Maya said that Ms. Kiff sent her there. Sure, sure. But what I'm saying is, I don't know if we can say there was like a grand orchestrated thing going on that I think that probably what happened, and I think this is fair, is that if there's gonna be a statement that comes out, and if there's gonna be something that's gonna involve a lot of people, it makes sense to me that like a lot of parties would be involved in talking about it. I don't think that that's necessarily that crazy or out of line, right? It was an orchestration 100%. And if, if that comes out further, then it comes out further. It's okay. just not my... But yeah, I but I, I would I would have to see. Me. I need like more evidence of that. Yeah. If the, if that if it did come out that like let's say Maya or well, Mitch or Barry comes well, well, out and they're like well, yeah well, like we well, wait, let me I just gotta say this because you because that's okay, a big okay, accusation. Yeah, yeah. If it Go comes ahead. out from one of them where they're like originally we didn't want to say much we wanted to do much but Miz was insistent. Miz was like you guys have to go over there. You've got to get her statement in line so that our org is protected. Yeah. If yeah, that yeah. were to come out, then um that that would be that would make Miz's story a lot worse for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so the reason I'm not like getting into it mm -hmm. too deeply is because I think like at least in my like f from like my takeaway from this, man, unless we're like if we're see, this is what makes it tough. Yeah. In my head, what this was about was Adriana getting her justice. Right. And she was she was given a platform, you know, to do that. And she got that now that that's ongoing. This question of, you know, what, what were the involvements, what actually happened, like, mm -hmm. I don't know how right it would, like, it doesn't feel right me sitting here saying, oh, well, this happened, this happened, this happened, uh, this individual is to blame. Like, I, I feel like the general goal here was to get her to tell the truth, or not her to tell the truth, so, sorry, to, for her to give her a platform to get the truth out. Right? Yeah, no, I disagree. And, and that's, and, I understand and that's what you're what saying, but the, her, that makes so, sense. her truth was important when she got her story out, but the reason why it's important for them to get their stories out is to one, hold the people that were involved accountable, and then two, make True. sure it doesn't happen again. So if it is the case that like Ms. Kiff Weinstein is like conducting this shit behind the scenes, then like Devin said, there does need to be greater responsibility there, right? Oh, I just no. don't think that that will ever come to pass uh, or come to light, I should say. Well, um, but that's because we, need, we would need that crucial piece of yeah, information about Miskip being that, the, yeah, the orchestrator. The only yeah. way that would happen is, I guess, if that, you know, it would have to be the case where that, that call 
kind of the individuals involved would come forward, whether it's Mitch, Barry, right? And then, yeah, that's what I mean. Mitch, Barry, Maya would have to, I guess, come out with that. Unless them telling me, or not Maya, but for Mitch and Barry, what they told me. Unless that lies, you know, if the onus is on me to come out and relay what they told me regarding... Well, another option... Sorry. <laughs> no, another another option is yeah. to... If this is to be considered to be a legitimate third-party investigation, then what they would do, like a risk management company would do, is they would pull aside and interview everybody that was involved, and then they would collect the, the data and make statements based on that, right? Like, like what I, I guess, like, what I think is going to happen is that this is not going to be, like, a legit third-party investigation like it suggested is, because that's not really to the benefit of Ms. Kiff or OTK to do that. Hmm. But, but but an actual third party investigation, I, I run these like like not myself, but I've, I've contracted these out for mm -hmm. all kinds of different PR issues. And, and like an actual third party investigation, I think, would reveal the, the truth of most of this if it was done by a professional org. Hmm. Well, also, here's my question. Well, just real quick. Yeah. Who who is the third party reporting to? Right. So like if I hire a third party to do an investigation and their investigation is being reported to me afterwards. Well, they're they should really... make their findings public, right? Yeah, but who, here's the problem. If if you're giving the findings to the people who are involved and it's their responsibility to make everything public that's been given to them, like don't you find that as a conflict of interest? The findings should be given to a fourth party that makes every, right, that has nothing yeah. in it to make this it all This is the in. game that agencies use. The train wrecks is, you're 100% right. Like the, the, the game is we get a third party to, to make it seem like this is like a done and, and, and like a done issue. And and the, but we're the people that actually receive. I, like I, I I can't on this call like go into. There's so many times though that this has happened, even in like Twitch with like top tier broadcasters, and 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 major agencies have covered for broadcasters doing exactly this because that accountability loop just goes right back to them. That's exactly right. Um, if they actually hire a third party org, that shouldn't be possible. If you misrepresent the findings of a third party organization, you're, that's your ass. You're absolutely so, done. Let me talk about one where this just happened sure. and, and, and that I think I can talk about. So let's look at what happened with TSM, mm -hmm. right? Where, where, where TSM basically um, hired a third party investigation to go over like what Reginald found. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then like nothing really came of that. It took Riot policing the event um, and doing their own investigation mm -hmm. to, to, to figure to actually make something happen. Sure, but the question that, was, was that them, example. were they misrepresenting the third party findings or was, was the third party just not sophisticated or in the know enough to actually uncover things? I, I, you know, I, I can't make a claim either way. Yeah, right? that, like, cause that's really that. important, right? It wouldn't surprise yeah, me if they just, because of how deep everything runs, that like Riot is probably in a better position to investigate a lot of stuff than some random third party company, right? But but in this case, we don't have oversight like a publisher. Mm -hmm. Like like Twitch is not going to launch their own investigation into this. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, think you're that talking that. about an yeah. org that's essentially ran by like six gamer streamer guys, right? Isn't that what OTK is? I I, I think it's gotten more professional than that over time, and mm -hmm. I, and I actually think that like Tips Out is like a really like qualified and legit executive, and and, oh, and, no. the, and that this response, this PR response, like kind of shows that. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that that like you didn't see a ton of. Um, I, I saw your your what you said yesterday was like Ms. Kiff, you got to shut up. It's time to put the phones in the box. Like that's hundred percent right. Mm -hmm. But that like after he d made a few comments in his like Twitch chat, I I think they did rein him in, mm -hmm. and, and 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 that happened right, and that discussion just occurred, in um. It, it, like, like over the last night. Sure. Yeah. People are saying Miz keeps deleting and retweeting. I don't know what he's doing right now, but I think he, I think he uh, edited the tweet longer and added. Someone said that, but I don't know if he's saying he you know, deleted again or what. But um. Hmm. Like I think this works, and um. Everybody forgets about this in like a few months. I mean, Miz is a really big broadcaster. I think that mm -hmm. that's, yeah, he just has to keep streaming and he'll probably be okay. Do you, do you yeah. think that there is any blowback or like follow up from like the stuff that Ice Poseidon tweeted about it? No, Ice is just hungry to be involved in the drama again. That's all he's looking for. <laughs> and um, I think that, um, I mean, like those logs had already been leaked anyway. I don't, honest to God, I, I would have told, if I was giving Miz advice, I would say you shouldn't even address him. I think he did in the to a longer, I'd have to go up and look. But like, I don't even yeah, think it's worth, did. it's not even worth talking about. Like why why even um, give air to them when, yeah, it's it's already been out. Like, who cares? I agree. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 
Well, now we just need an OTK crypto coin. We're good to go. <laughs> so the, uh, the are, we, are we going back to the gambling thing? Um, if you want to, yeah, go for it. I just hate the inconsistency <laughs> in the sports betting thing. Like sports betting is responsible for far, far more of this quote unquote uh, addictive behavior and loss in whatever the fuck than slots roulette and blackjack. Like it, it, it is some bullshit. It, sports betting is a normalized thing in the United States. It's introduced at the youngest of ages intentionally. It's in American culture. Do you understand? It's something we do in middle school, obviously uh, uh, non-betting, right? But the fantasy sports that's introduced in middle school, what do you think that's prepping you for? As soon as you hit 18, 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, depending on what state you live in or what country you're in, right? That's literally, do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's so deeply ingrained. Devin's the in one American here that culture. fucking hates gambling. So go get him, Devin. It's Good just luck. so it's so <laughs> odd to me. Uh -oh. It's so odd to me to like release that statement and to say, but we're gonna allow sports betting. I mean, I know why. I just saw the fucking uh, uh, Amazon clip of NFL thirteen billion dollar deal. I know what the fuck's good. Like, I just find that like he's not wrong. Gonna, yeah, like yeah. they just accepted a thirteen billion dollar NFL deal, and they have the audacity to sit here and cater to a bunch of. Uh, uh, virtue signaling bandwagoners at least stick to your guns be a little consistent and say listen we're gonna we're gonna update policies mm -hmm. we're gonna make streamers uh, 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 you know well whatever the fuck does that make any sense like something a lot more strict and something that you know uh, uh, has more accountability and has yeah. a bit more control or something but this thing where we're gonna move blackjacks and, and here's the problem twitch knows what they're doing and the dumbasses all these dumbasses Hassan, Pokey, all of them, they're going to prove. No, no, I, I'm, I'll say it straight up. They are dumbasses and they're going to show their true colors when they stop their rants against gambling just because blackjack slots and roulette are gone. The fact that they don't hold their own arguments consistent with sports betting as well. And the fact that they allow so many large creators that are their friends have literal sports betting sponsorships and they say nothing against that. Holy but shit. The, but, the, but the topic is, is slots. Never mind. I'm sorry. It, it shows you how inconsistent and how much of an agenda these individuals have. It's yeah. about power. It's about pushing people out that they can't get a piece of the pie from. And it's that fucking simple. And when they shut the fuck up, once Twitch releases this, you're going to see that inconsistency in their original beliefs of their virtue signaling. Oh, it's about the gambling and kids. Oh, if it's about the gambling and kids, why the fuck are you sitting there quiet now and happy that Twitch is still allowing sports betting? It makes no sense to me, bro. These people are such disingenuous, bad faith acting dumb motherfuckers. It's crazy to me. So yeah. I, I actually think that like Train and I agree on pretty much everything, and and this is like a like, I'm getting so much fucking shit. I've, goddamn, like I, the, the, the last time I got this amount of shit for supporting someone, I was you fucking Destiny when I fucking made that band video. Nice. Um, I, I don't know what it is with these. <laughs> yeah, like like, but um, like people don't understand that I, I can like fuck with a person and support like who they are and what they do and still like like disagree with one particular action that they take right Cringe. like like you could still be friends with someone so so like here's what i think happened and, and this is what i saw happen today on the back end okay so a ton of news outlets like bloomberg see ya rip bozo <laughs> they got him dude they absolutely got him he didn't have a fucking chance Oh, well, hey, sorry, my back. Oh, shit, you're here. Yeah, so so a ton of news outlets like Bloomberg, Washington Post were all preparing posts to basically say that this was the, like, and it was already happening, like there was a huge amount of media coverage. Everybody was basically saying, okay, like Twitch isn't doing anything. All these streamers are pissed off. All these people are pissed off. And what that would have done is that advertisers who aren't aware that their ads are being served next to gambling ads mm -hmm. would have read those kind of things and likely started pulling budget. And this, so, so, something similar happened to Twitch on uh, sexual content, which is why they updated their policy so fast on that when the hot tub stream thing started happening. Mm -hmm. And Twitch basically said, fuck, we need to have a response for this, but we can't hard out, out a ban 
and luck-based gambling because we haven't discussed this fully internally yet. Mm -hmm. So they had to do this action. And, and this action is like, like to Train's point, it's really a half measure. It doesn't even, they didn't even say in the, in the statement that they're banning luck, or prohibiting luck-based gambling. Only websites that are quote, um, US based or not, are not US licensed. So all the yeah, shit but that's like probably, MGM online, but that lets them, Roboto, all the, that lets them offshore to US law because I think pretty sure in the United States, most of that stuff is already banned, right? Yeah, we want to know what's crazy. It, no, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Stay, yeah. Listen, here's what shows that they didn't do their research and they're literally only going with the bandwagon and the information. Like, yep. Twitch always says, we don't look at Reddit. We don't look at Twitter. We, they're fucking liars. Do you understand me? They're fucking liars. They get their information from there just like every fucking bandwagoning, clout chasing streamer does. They literally said, stake.com is one of the sites we don't allow. But then they say they allow US-based sites that the US has allowed under the regulations, correct? Well, guess what? Stake got a license in the US. Yep, Stake is a US, US website. Stake.us is a yep. thing that was accepted by the US. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, question real quick. It's allowed in like 43 states. Is, Do you is, it, is it federally banned though? I could be wrong, but my understanding from the Poker Stars days, somebody can correct me, but I thought that it was illegal to make cash withdrawals or deposits on gambling sites. It's 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 done it's done the same way as uh, other uh, uh, sites that are run like that in the U.S. are done. It's the done way through it, some, like coins or whatever. Exactly right? the way it works is you buy like a gold mm -hmm. and then you ca you ca and then you this is how mobile games get around that law too with yes. like loot boxes and stuff is is you, you buy like let's say like a coin and then you cash that in to be able to do it. There is still like on all uh, train is like a hundred percent in the know. Like the stake .us and, and and like uh, Borvado and like MGM online all have money based slots. It's just it, there's a coin in the middle of it to get around that. There is so exactly. no shot that's legal. I can't believe it is. It. That is what. It, the, yeah, dude. That, that's the loophole. Every every all these sponsors that they say, oh, U.S. based, it's it's approved. That's what they all do. It, like it's the same. But, oh man, it's so shame. Like that's how I can tell Twitch that. Hold on, wait. I'm curious. Their... Can you give me can you give me an example of something that I can cash a coin out of? Like what? Like what do you mean? Yeah, Borgata or or like which or, or Caesars in in New Jersey or um or uh, no no or, like an um, online like what's like an online thing that I can. Yeah, go to um here. I'll, I'll link. I'm you. just curious. The mm -hmm. site itself, like think of it as a crypto. Right? The site itself has a coin. Mm -hmm. You buy the yep. coin and then you cash the coin out at the end, and, and then you withdraw the money to your bank account. There's all kinds of loopholes too. Like there's also like sites like um, there's like B Spot where they have interstate licenses to do slots through um, like an old Oregon law about horse betting. And that's is operated stuff, by Caesar Palace. Is, has this like, stuff that the U.S. government has officially said is okay, or is it just like, yeah, no, or is it just like unregulated, called, basically? It's called, no, no, no. It's called sweepstakes. That's what it is. Someone in your chat said it. Uh -huh. it. It's some sort of sweepstakes law, and that's how they like go about it. They, they abide by some sort of sweepstakes law or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Huh. And that's what allows it to be legal. If you, it's some, it's some shit like that. We, we, we have to all do research. But the point I'm making is. You can tell they're not doing research when they just. Well, if it's all, if that's all legal, wait, hold on. If that's all legal, why are people moving to Canada to do these sponsors then for the gambling show? Why not just do it in because, America? Because because Stake.us, the, the the American regulations put a. It's the same way Steam has a two thousand dollar limit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, per twenty four hours. Stake.us is a two thousand dollar limit per twenty four hours. Gotcha. So it's two thousand dollars, right? So that that's the limit. So it's a limit that uh, uh, is regulated. Hmm. Okay. So the actual change that Twitch is making is mm -hmm. just making those websites like uh, with, with with a little bit more precautions. But like luck based gambling isn't going away, and and like there's still a mo massive incentive for those websites to pay streamers. Though I don't know if they can do it to mm -hmm. the scale that Stake does. I think the more Stake was fucking raking. The gambling shit seems to be loophole. -y. I think there's an interesting discussion to be had around mobile games and um, the are they called gachi games like um, Genshin? Like Genshin. Yeah. 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 Because that's gotcha gambling, games, like 100, percent right? 100, bro. Listen. 100. Yeah. Can, can I? I'm gonna say this here. I've said it on my stream many times. I don't think we're there as a society yet to understand these, I don't know how to really word it. Um, I'm extremely fucking fried today. I was up late as fuck and I'm There's pretty a, clouded in the mind, but shit going on. <laughs> we haven't reached, reached there as a society, okay? I gotta drop this, <laughs> this bullshit here because it's just so shameless. Listen, let's get to video games, okay? Okay. Video, when video games are created, mm -hmm. okay, a lot of them, yeah, they, they are designed to stimulate the very part of the brain that gambling does. Do you understand? It gets you hooked and addicted. That part's fine. It's a video game. You're just putting your time in. It's innocent. It's a good time. 
It's when you add in the microtransactions that if you think about what is going on from a business perspective, the awareness of what's going on, do you understand like what is actually happening? What is acceptable? When these PG-13 streamers release a skin in their name and, and they say, oh, you can't cater to these people, like, my mom's credit cards use this. Like they're doing exactly that to a game that is hard, it, it is hitting that hard addicted point to everybody. And then you add a microtransaction in the game that you are addicted to. Like what, what do you think is going on there? It's a billion dollar industry. I don't understand how no one sees it. I know it sounds like a stretch to a lot of people that can't understand the concept of what's happening, but it actually is not. The, the politics behind it alone is the same. It's just a different business. Does that make any sense? Um, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I, I mean, like, I, I agree. Like, I think that there's like gaming addictions are definitely a problem. They're a real thing, but we don't really talk about them much because it's not popular too. Um, well, and then there's it's like not a the lot gaming of addiction itself. It's the gaming addiction and then the microtransactions involved, right? Sure. Like, that's that's the part that makes it, in my opinion, the same. But we're just not there as a society to understand that because one is sugar coated and the other is not. Sure. I think all forms of like loot boxes did a lot of weird things to gaming stuff um, when it started to become like the norm where everybody was doing it. It kind of made things kind of weird, I think, for everything. But I, I mean, it's like it's so much revenue on everyone's the table. Just, like nobody's yeah, everyone's gonna... just picking and choosing. I mean, even what Ludwig just told me here, like it's just like it, it triggers me because it's like it's it, it's be, it's being given a pass to by these very people that are literally going on there, virtue signaling about gambling and kids. It's given a pass by like like this right here. They can't remove sports betting because of the sponsors they have. They have major sports betting sponsors for CS:GO, Dota, and the NFL, who are huge partners with Twitch and Amazon. It's like how are you giving that in like like. Do you understand like what you're saying? You're saying, "Oh, well, I want to attack this gambling because Twitch and we, we aren't getting paid by it." Like you're like it's it's oh man, it's so it fucks me up, Destiny. It fucks me up. Do you not understand what that's saying? Like like are people that delusional and that stupid to not realize what that is? like it is screaming corruption. It is screaming it's screaming inconsistency. And it is screaming that we are virtue signaling for the sake of virtue signaling. We don't actually believe in or care about the thing we're uh, sitting here virtue signaling about. Yeah, how could you make but I mean, like, that's like it's corporate so politics. That's just how it works. Yeah. That's so ridiculous, bro. Holy fuck. Just found bro. out like, about, like, big business. Shit sucks, man. <laughs> like, Twitch, just because Twitch is in a $13 million contract in the NFL, sports betting is allowed still. But the other stuff, you want to say, oh, well, for the safety of our community. What do you mean, safety of our community? <laughs> sports betting makes billions of dollars more like oh i just oh i cannot even do you know how oh my god it's just it's just like it's the it's the inconsistency that bothers me the gambling being banned that's fine right i'm, I'm gonna gamble off stream as much as i do on stream I'll, I'll do me i'll stream rust bring the podcast back do what i need to do right but it's like maybe i'll throw some poker in there we'll have a little youtube twitch poker tournament you and i destiny but it's like and we'll do some csgo cases you know because i fucking love that shit but it's like these are all the same so it's like if you're gonna sit here in virtue signal and do all this bullshit, grandstanding bullshit, at least be consistent. Do not give me this bullshit Twitch has given me when they release this fucking tweet, and then they're leaving in sports betting because of a fucking thirteen billion dollar contract they have. Yep, that is so fucking disingenuous. Ban yourselves. Ban yourselves. Prohibit yourselves. You fuck faces. Like what the fuck? Have some consistency. Have some fucking shame, you cowards. It is so shameless to me, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I linked to the um, I linked the partnership thing. Is basically Amazon themselves have Dr DraftKings as a sponsor for their Thursday night football on Prime. So yeah. like they will they will never change that. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think about that. Think about Amazon has DraftKings for their like. Do you understand the fact that Twitch like Twitch should have listen? Twitch should not, in my opinion. It doesn't look bad now because the people that are attacking gambling aren't actually attacking gambling itself. They're attacking the streamers mm -hmm. that don't fit their agendas. That's what's really going on. Gambling is just the easy thing to hide behind to attack the streamers. Do you understand? That's what's going on. But in reality, once we move away from that and as, as a society, we start opening our eyes to what's right in fuck in front of them, you will realize how bad them coming out to hard ban the sites that certain streamers are pushing an agenda for, but not banning actual gambling. They're only banning what is being catered to. Ah, I just can't even, it's just, oh my God. Oh my God, it's right in front of everyone's faces and no one says a word. Do you understand? 
Do you understand that these same streamers, if they don't say a word about this and they just shut up and they're happy with the ban, you, you understand what's being admitted and no one in the public will, will even comprehend it. They'll move along, oh, who cares, whatever, right? Turn XTV, XQC, lose or whatever, right? Like th that's how they're gonna see it. They don't see the actual corruption and inconsistency. That, and that's what's so frustrating to me. How can you pretend to be about the good and about the caring about anti-gambling and saving the children and then being okay because your hands are in the cookie jar for one sort of gambling that is actually the most popular and normalized type of gambling that if any type of kid is gambling it's that type of gambling and then sit here uh, dude do you understand destiny do you understand I got and see you, dude. i'm not getting it twisted <laughs> it is crazy bro <laughs> I miss those Drain are, so much, man. Holy those fuck. of you saying mad because banned are the problem themselves. Like, Dude, nothing's gonna. You think Train is like some, like fucked as a result? You, you guys got another thing coming. Yo, are Train's bugging. fine. I'll, shit, I'll fucking buy Twitch right now and fucking remove the rule. Train what has, the but not only that, but you have survived so many fucking like dumb like changes on Twitch and like changed your content completely and been even and even been bigger for it. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It, 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 this isn't about gambling, man. It's about it, it's about like the very corruption I preach about on a daily basis. Like what this ban shows is far more. Uh, uh, it's it, it's what's the word I'm looking for? It's 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 far more eye opening than the ban for gambling itself. Sure. If that makes any sense to you guys, the ban what they announced. And what they decided to leave because of what their hand, the, the, the jars that their hands are in, is far more eye-opening than them sitting here and uh, 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 giving that bullshit PR uh, 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 statement of, oh, you know, it's affecting affecting the you know youth of our community. Like, what the fuck? How are you gonna say that? We understand. How are you gonna say that you. when the very the, the only people that they give the NFL <laughs> sponsorships to? No, no, I'm going into this. The only Good. people they give the NFL sponsorships to, right, are literally streamers that have 12 year old audiences so what where is the fucking uh, consistency there where is the accountability there how are you going to sit here and release this pr statement when the nfl deals are literally only the streamers that have 12 year old audiences that cater to them purposefully or purposely like it, you know, it, it doesn't make you know the any podcast that hassan does with ethan h3h3 Sponsored by DraftKings. No, it's yep. not. Wait, <laughs> is it? No, no it's not. shit. Travis no. Scott, old. Well, what? wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me be fair. I don't think this is the podcast that his son is on. It's another one that H3 does, I think. So, don't correct me wrong. It doesn't me. matter. That's inconsistent. Does, does, does he flame H3? No. No. But I think, right? Is this. Somebody correct me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Premiered to September 14th. Thank you for DraftKings download. It, but they, but Hassan is on the leftovers podcast, not the H three H three one. So it's just dude, like man, that was twenty twenty as well. Maybe they're not still sponsored. I don't know. Somebody can. It's just bro. It's just it's all just so. It just uh, it's just. I mean, ignore that. Like that's just the, the point I'm making to. Oh, <laughs> it's just a, it's all just so corrupt. It's so crazy to me, bro. It's so crazy. The general public see just. Oh man, they got it so twisted and backwards. What's so crazy is the is like the general public sees like certain broadcasters and because they just don't put like their actual face forward. Mm -hmm. Dude, like Train was yelling for like years and years at me like dude, it's all fucking corrupt, it's all fucking busted. And I'm like, "Okay, like go to sleep, grandpa." And like it, like what what had happened for me to see it was to be on the agency side and see the deals these broadcasters are actually doing. And like what and like like the way they behave in the professional world, but like when the stream is offline. And I was like, oh shit! Like it was a hundred percent right. Everybody is fucking super corrupt, especially at like the top levels. Because what it takes to get to that level of prominence and that level of viewership requires compromise almost always. That mm -hmm. there's some exceptions like Co Carnage, like he's a real G or people like that. Um, but like like it, it requires compromises and ethical compromises that um, that, that people will have to be willing to make. Is Pokey compromised? I'm not, I, I, so I can't sit here and tell you who <laughs> who's part of the deep uh -oh. state, okay? Or not. I leave that to better men. <laughs> More interested men. That's your job, ain't it? Is, he, is she? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her well enough. <laughs> Our conversation is casual, you know? We just go out to dinner, have a drink, chat about life, yeah. not about sponsorships, you know? I'll tell you what, the voice, uh, the head? tone difference oh. in... Uh, 
in yesterday's call with Hassan during the whole thing versus the tone in today's call, I'll tell you what, she knows exactly what's good. That was a, like that, 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 that tone difference was, in my opinion, like, it's obviously not, not about me or for me to like get offended over, mm -hmm. but I really feel like if more po people like understood that tone difference on a more social, like awareness type of level, it would be f insulting for a lot more people than just me. Well, I mean, like, it, she's it, right to have the tone difference, right? Like more information has come out. She would be stupid if she maintained the same tone as before, right? I'm, I'm not referring to tone in that way. I'm, I'm referring to the manipulation of being soft-spoken and innocent and like like not strong and confident and like uh, that that's all a game. You understand? Like that, that that's on someone that is taking responsibility. It's someone that's playing the game to get the fire out from underneath them. Do you understand? I mean, me? she that's not... she apologized as well as she could have, and she said she was she sorry. Has she... She yeah, has to. Yeah, of course she does. Apologize. But I mean, like, what else? Could, what should she have done? Right? I mean, I think she has to do that, right? There's, it's, yeah, but, it's not like she's gonna come on a double night and be like, you know what? But, Fuck you, I'm never gonna believe this bitch. I think these are fake tears. Like, she's not gonna say shit like that, you, right? Yeah, but, but but don't you find it odd that for somebody that sits there, especially on the gambling virtue signaling bullshit, mm -hmm. and says it's the effect, not the intention, and then sitting in that call and contradicting everything that you say elsewhere about, oh, it, was, it wasn't my intention, it wasn't my intention. You have to understand it wasn't my intention. Don't you sit there every day and say intentions irrelevant? Like I I'm confused. That's the issue that's insulting to me, right? Like if you're gonna sit there, right? Like when the arguments against us, intentions irrelevant. When the arguments for them, intention is everything. That's what I don't fucking like. That's what's insulting, and everyone misses that. No one, everyone misses that. Do you understand me? Yeah, that's an I know issue. Yeah, to of me. course. Yeah, but I mean, like that would have been on X to represent better, or you, I guess, in the debate, is to try to like hammer that point. But I mean, oh, like, I did say it. No, once, I said it. Yeah, but I mean, like once they've already fucked up, if you believe they have fucked up, which I think it's fair to say they have, but like once the fuck up has happened, I mean, I, she's not supposed to like double down on it, right? She has to like. Be oh, like, of course not. Yeah. No, yeah, apologizing is the way. But what I'm saying is the apology didn't f feel it felt disingenuous to me because of the. Uh, it seemed like it was. The excuse was it wasn't my intention, but just take full accountability. Your intention was e it was irrelevant in that circumstance. I I'm someone that believes intention does matter, mm -hmm. and I want to go back to the time where it does, right? Mm -hmm. But in that context, we know it's not black and white, Destiny. When we grow up, shit's not black and white sure. anymore, right? And in that context, anyone with any experience in life knows intention is irrelevant. It's irrelevant in that context. So like to, to continuously bring that up as the excuse is, is what made the apology disingenuous to me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was just really annoyed in the call. But it, it wasn't, like I said, it, it wasn't about me. So that's why I just kind of, I said what I said, but I didn't, you know, uh, 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 stand the point too long and use it as a, a argument type gotcha. thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can I read this uh, to it longer real quick? I, it's about yeah, Migs and I fucking hate Migs, so. Oh, Sneeko's on Zerka. Nice. Who is Sneeko? <clears throat> um, big up-and-coming YouTube dude. Oh, nice. My experiences with Minx in the streaming community from toxic support. I'm not affiliated with any of the current events brought to light. However, I have been holding on to a situation that is quite similar with someone involved. I'm tired of never saying anything, and I hate watching others on the platform go through situations even remotely similar and also made to be a joke. Later, I will explain why I didn't directly name names back then. I had made a tweet in 2020 stating my experiences in sexual trauma, peer pressure, and uncomfortable positions no one should ever be put into. One of the incidents is what happened in 2018 at a TwitchCon party hosted by Minx and her friends. At this time, Minx was one of my best friends. We had a friend group of just girls that we were pretty proud of. By the time our friend and I arrived at the party, most of the girls were asleep or gone. We decided to stay for a bit, as we didn't see a point of immediately leaving once arriving when people were still partying. Besides, Minx was still awake and I felt safe. Tweet about the situation. These are her past tweet, I guess. A party game had started that my friend and I didn't understand. Apparently, it was a UK drinking game. We decided to join in, and at that time, I honestly didn't see anything seriously wrong. I'm very competitive, and I believed I could learn as it went. Learn it as I, learn it as I went. I just wanted to be included. Every time you mess up, you had to drink an entire red solo cup of vodka or take off an item of clothing. Wait, what is a red solo cup? That's not those red plastic cups, right? It is. It is, yes. It's the ones you play beer pong in. No fucking shot. She m must be wrong or something. That's impossible. She just have, she must have mistyped here, but whatever. Um, 
or take off an item of clothing. Around that time, Minx decided to sit out and sleep. I ended up drinking and eventually had to remove my shirt. At one point, someone said something along the lines of, there's clearly some of us that aren't as exposed as the others. Let's just do the truth or dare. I knew how those types of games went, so I always answered truth. The questions I was asked were obviously sexual, but it didn't bother me that much as whatever could possibly be a dare. My friend, however, was drunk fast. She ended up getting into only her bra and underwear in front of at least 13 guys. I was uncomfortable and ready to go. It got to the point to where my friend stood up to take off the last of her clothes, fell over instantly, and knocked over her cup of vodka. I asked her if she was okay, and she wanted to leave, and she insisted we stay, so I went to clean the vodka up and came back to them, telling me someone's dare was to remove the rest of my clothes. <laughs> I was confused. I didn't lose, but I had to remove my clothes anyways. I told them I'm good, and I didn't want to, and my replies were drowned out by echoes of the guys who's telling me to do it. It's okay. They won't judge. It's part of the game, etc. I continued to say no and got up to leave. I helped my friend get her clothes on, ordered an Uber, and left. None of them said goodbye. They actually left the house and pretended like I didn't exist after telling them I ruined the party. Someone at the party who saw what happened from the sidelines. That was a risky click, but I'll go. I went to my Airbnb and cried to my friends, explaining the story. The next day I told Minx and she seemed so kind and forgiving and even went on or even went with me to tell some of our other friends in the Twitch Partner Lounge. She seemed so supportive. A few hours later, out of nowhere, she texted me and told me I'm not allowed to go back to that Airbnb and she didn't want to talk to me. She told me I'd ruined their careers and that if I went public, she'd release things about me I've told her in secret. Oof, that's some actual blackmail. Him vouching that I talked to him that night about everything, her messages about the incident in 2018. Then don't say the word forced. You could destroy so many people saying that. How can you not realize that? It wasn't meant to be like that. There was no harm meant from that. It was just like, it's just a game, just do it. Not a, we want to see you naked, take it off right now. I didn't say it was forced literally anywhere in there. Uh-oh. Minx. Feel free to try to shit talk me again in friends, but I'm ready to open up all the shit you told me too if we playing that game. Now I will say, not a lot of messages here. She's leaving out a bit of context, but. Um, hold on, can I? Wait, why am I asking you losers? Hold on. I'm asking, it's the podcast. <coughs> I was asking if I could add XCC. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, yes, you can add them. Shut up. I'm in your Discord. Just join this. Just join Why don't you this. add Mooten and uh, Dan as well? <laughs> Mooten has abandoned <laughs> us to Canada, and Dan is taking a break for real life stuff, whatever that means. Wait, so is that thing happening with all of us or no? Um, no. Yeah, gee, come on, fix your shit. No. This is a joke. You're joking right Jesus. now. You're like in Dark Souls right now, screaming at me from the end of a tunnel. I'm in the shower, bro. Okay, I'll come out. <laughs> Okay, just, <laughs> okay. Production quality. F Jesus Christ, okay, finishing up. Um, when I made my tweet back in 2020, not naming any names, she damn me on Twitter. Oh, she at first tried to seem understanding, almost as if it was to play innocent. Unaware of what happened in 2018, after I told her I don't understand her ploy, she changed her demeanor and told me that she was going to be addressing the situation on her social media, Twitch, YouTube, etc. She even told me she would hate to see me lose my career when I support so much of my family. I didn't want that. I just wanted to share my story without having to deal with anyone involved. She knew that. She essentially manipulated, intimidating, and blackmailed me into being silent. She protected them. She still continues to protect abusers, friends, and at times seemed to take it as a joke. Her messages after I posted my tweet. Hey Angel, we obviously have our differences, but I see your twit longer. I'm probably going to come out and address this soon, and while I still don't agree with past actions, I want to apologize for made you feel that alone and lost at TwitchCon. She said that. There's still some parts of the story I'm still a bit lost on, but I'd like to talk about it and learn more, so I fully hear all sides. This seems okay. This was on June 22nd. And then I'm going to get in contact with people from the party. I know some people weren't drinking as heavy as others, like um, the ones who set up from the game early. I want to get a statement from everyone and get this sorted. I really believe there's a mix up here and I'm not okay with allegations that could ruin livelihoods. I'm willing to have a voice call too. Angel, I felt sick that night and dropped out of the game because I didn't want to play strip poker and drink anymore. No one pressured me to continue. I can promise you they had no ill intent or ever wanted it to feel that way. I remember you had drama in the community at the time and they wanted to make you feel included, which is why they invited you over. They even were fine with Blank, who arrived first, leaving so you'd be comfortable. The boys went out, blah, blah, blah. I know your ex was horrific to you and I'm still so sorry about that. She drops a personal story here. 
I don't know if you realize, but you manipulated and hurt many people in the last community you were in, and instead of owning up from your mistakes, you ran from them. I wanted to believe you changed, but this shows me otherwise. If you want to hop on a call, I'm willing to talk to you about it so I can hear your side because I hate cancel culture and I know you have family to support, and I don't want this affecting anyone's livelihood. I also completely understand if you don't want to, let me know. Also, I've heard from fellow content creators that you hate my guts and talked about and talked bad about me during your time on Project Simp. I've had issues with you and your manipulation tactics, but I never try. Ooh, Minx in big trouble now. Uh-oh. Okay, three more paragraphs. I'm not a perfect person, so I don't want to be hypocritical. I've done shitty things and said shitty things. I was diagnosed with DPD-1 and I've been on medication to go to therapy weekly for the last year due to it. Um, due to it. So I unfortunately understand her manic episodes and actions. However, it took a lot of growing up to realize I'm not always the victim and to try to make myself one uh, every single time isn't okay. I've also learned my actions cannot be justified due to my mental health. Last year, I tried to reach out. My, as my therapist told me to reach out to anyone I've had issues with and let go of my unhealthy resentment. Although she is to blame to an extent, I hated her as if she was one of the guys trying to get me and my friends to really were close while drunk, blah, blah, blah. I hope she gets legitimate help. I believe she should be held accountable for her past actions. Damn. Good luck. Wow. Um, let me... I'm going to give some hard life advice to everybody involved here for the boys and the girls okay this is you call me coomer brain if you want um call me coomer brain if you want this is how i personally feel um if you follow my advice you will always be good to go um if you don't want to follow my advice you think I'm, I'm out of touch go fuck yourself i don't care in my opinion i don't think you should be drunk around people you're not willing to be naked around or drunk with one person you're not willing to fuck I don't think you should ever put yourself in that situation from the guy's perspective or from the girl's perspective. If you're a guy and you're drinking with somebody, chances are if you're willing to drink, you're probably willing to fuck. And there's a decent chance or there is a chance that if you fuck and you're both drinking, that something could get misinterpreted, something could be fucked afterwards, and you're gonna be in a whole world of fucking trouble on the guy's side. On the girl's side, if you go out with somebody and you're drinking, you might end up doing something that you regret or you put yourself in a position where you can get taken advantage of. Um, I know that some people get mad. I know that you guys wanna feel like you can go out and you can get wasted and you can get drunk around anybody you want and do whatever, you're fucking retarded. Um, you can get raped if you want or you can rape somebody and learn the hard way, that's on you. There's plenty of ways to learn that lesson in life. You don't have to learn it from me, but in my personal opinion and from the plethora of life experience I have from how I've seen other people act, how I know people act personally and how I act personally, if you're going to be in a one-on-one -on -one environment drinking with somebody, it should be somebody that you're probably already comfortable having sex with or if it's going to be with like other people and you're the person um, that, that's like doing like a fucking party game or some shit, like either it needs to be with a lot of people, so like people with cameras or people like at a big house party maybe, um, or it needs to be people that you're really, 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 really comfortable with, never strangers. Um, I, I like, I will never, ever, ever, and I don't care how many people get mad at me, I don't care, I'll, I already know there's 15 different posts going up on my subreddit right now by virgins in chat. Um, getting drunk around strangers is almost always a bad idea. Like, and you don't need to do it. You just don't need to do it. Um, it's just, there are so many bad things in life that happen when you do that, and it's just not worth it. Just why, why do it? Why ever, why would you ever put yourself in that situation? But, <clears throat> Okay. Um. I had two rules. Yeah, go the, for it. <laughs> in the esports world, okay, Let's hear it, Pence. that avoided the great, the great reckoning mm -hmm. of many execs at the time. Number one, don't drink at conventions, and number two, never be alone with a girl in a hotel room. And yeah, I got out absolutely. Of yep. I, yeah. 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 For sure. Unless you want to fuck them and you're willing yeah, to fuck yeah, them. Yeah. Or unless, here's my, if, you, if you're alone in a hotel with somebody, you've already fucked, period. Whether you have or haven't, you already have. <laughs> you already have, it's over. Like nobody's gonna believe anything otherwise. If you're in a hotel room with somebody, you've already fucked, it's, that's it. The second that door closes and more than 30 seconds have passed, you fucked, it's over. It doesn't matter what anybody <laughs> else says. Just, yeah, just always be aware of these things. You should just know this. You should just know these things, guys. It's just good things to know. Just it's even more relevant when there's a power dynamic of any kind. Absolutely. Which, in this, which, which is like. Which is in the streamer the world. Yes, it is always yep. the case. There's always the case. Somebody's going to have more viewers. Somebody's going to be stronger. Somebody's going to be the head of an org. Somebody's going to be somebody's boss. Somebody's going to be somebody's sponsor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, yeah, that's, that is what it is. Yeah. I have yet to see one of these twit longers go off that does not have alcohol involved. Yeah. There's just. It's, I, I don't think it has to happen a single time. Yeah. It's just so. It's just so unnecessary. Um. It's just so unnecessary. People that, God damn, just guys, <sighs> playing drinking games where the goal is to get you weight, like 
And again, you can call me coomer brained, but like when guys and girls are involved, you drink the fuck. That like, <laughs> you do, you do. There are two types of people that know this. One is men that know it, and two are girls that either know it or are lying themselves. That's it. If you're drinking around people when there's boys and girls involved, it's usually it's to fuck. Don't do it if that's not what your plan is. Just stay away. Or do it at like very public places, like bars and shit like that. Otherwise, just don't. Just don't. Just don't. You avoid so many problems in life. How many stories have you ever heard? How many stories have you ever heard where somebody is like, fuck. When I was at that party with all those people and fucking God, I wish I would have drank or I wish I would have drank more. Like, bro, no. Like you can always peel off with friends afterwards. You can always meet up with a person you like one-on-one -on -one afterwards. You can always go out for drinks with like a special person or with this close group of friends. You can always do that. On the flip side, how many stories have you heard where you're like, unless you're like the designated driver and you obviously a different story, right? But how many stories have you heard where you're like, fuck, I got way too wasted last night at that public place. Fuck, I shouldn't have drank. Or here's my twit longer. This is, we started drinking. Like, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. J-O-B-D. Yeah? Yeah. Is that jerk off before drinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's tier one, dude. Someone in my chat tier says, yeah. Destiny, I was there. There was an EU squad and an NA squad. The EU guys had a game called Waterfall, where if you lost, you had to drink as much of a solo cup as you can. Yes, a whole solo cup. I can't believe that people are drinking solo cups of vodka. That sounds fucking disgusting. It had to be mixed with something. That's insane. Yeah, that's just... Jesus, no. Um... So am I reading the, the riot thing that G2 literally got tossed out of Valorant like, and maybe yeah. the LCS literally um, just because he took a picture with Andrew Tate? Well, it wasn't a picture, it was a video. <laughs> but yeah, okay. it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. What's going on? Hello, it's like hello, hello. Tate hey, derangement man. syndrome. It's unbelievable. Oh my We're God. We're talking, did you see this train? Like what um, with G2, which is like a major esports team, like basically got kicked out. If I understand it correctly, I, I'm trying to follow the news up. There's so much fucking shit going on. So as yeah. asking Destiny what happened. Um, like, I guess they got either kicked out of Valorant League and maybe the LCS or like some kind of penalty. And literally it was Carlos just taking a, a video with Andrew Tate. Did you see that? I didn't see that. That's that sounds like the exact type of bullshit I'm talking about here. Just I don't. That sounds like this is like an elevated escalated. Bro, That's on fucking bro, real, I dude. Just, like, I cannot. It's no wonder these people are at the top, bro. The industry itself is fucking corrupt. Like, I'm just... I'm, okay, hold on. I'm, Sorry, fuck. 20 million people keep messaging this, okay? People are saying, it wasn't the fact that he made it, he was a picture. It was the fact that he defended it. It's the same shit, okay? Chill. Like, yeah, he said, like, yeah, I can party with who I want. I can do what the fuck I want. And they're like, oh, well, no, you can't. You get fucked, okay? It, I think it was because <laughs> of the video, okay? Chill. People are like, it's not just the video. It's that he defended taking a video with a person. Okay, it's the same shit. Jesus. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, I cut you off. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, that's... That's a little ridiculous in my opinion. Like, I just think there's, there are, like, ah, man, it's just, it's so tough for me to explain this, think, these things to people that are, like, closed-minded in, in a sense, right? Like, if you, how can I say this? If you're part of the quote-unquote good side, I feel like this isn't the way things are handled. That's what's, like, so weird to me. All of these different people who are quote unquote the heroes, the good, the side of the light. Why does no one look at the action? The actions never follow the words. Right? Well, the actions the do. What do handled. you mean? I think the actions do follow. They're doing exactly what they, I would expect them to do. <laughs> no? Wait, well, what are you guys talking about? The. Andrew, uh, the uh, yeah, sure. I think they're doing exactly as you'd expect them to do, no? Wait, well, what are we talking about? The Andrew Tate thing? The G2 thing? Yeah. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought we we're back to the uh, gambling stuff. Oh, we can go back to the gambling stuff if you want. Okay, so Andrew Jason, what exactly happened? They took a video. He took a video of the, the G2 owner took a video of them partying. The G2 owner yeah. took a video of them partying, and then people were like, yeah. "Hey, that's Andrew Tate, isn't he like the most dangerous man on the planet in the history of the world?" And he was like, "No one's ever going to police who I party with," and they police who he partied with. They kicked his team out of. Uh, Did for anything one year. else happen besides him partying with him? Did I don't think so anything. Literally, else happened. this is yeah. about a seven-second video where Andrew Tate toasts him from a, like like maybe five to six feet away, mm -hmm. and then what happened was 
Carlos was like triple quadrupled down and said, this is where I draw the line in a tweet. I, this is where I draw the line. I fuck with this. Like I party with whoever the fuck I want. Fuck you. And then like <laughs> six hours later, like G2 like releases a PR driven statement. Like, well, we were terribly sorry. Like the Carlos like backs up on all of it. Yeah. yeah. And, so and now apparently uh, is he really yeah. did, did you confirm that dusty is he really getting like g2 getting removed from the lcs is that what's happening I, no no you said lcs just now i don't i didn't hear lcs initially i said lcs um just the valorant i said lcs and chat corrected me and said it was just the valorant league okay okay yeah i didn't know I did didn't, he say anything to... uh like did he i don't think he said or did anything then i think that's bullshit and I'm, I, I think that's real fucking weird it was literally like the association of being near his aura. Yep. That like <laughs> he got like infected, a turned into a zombie. <laughs> That's a Tate is a powerful man. We just need him to wander around uh, fucking TwitchCon for a little bit and show up in like three people's streams and then see how many streamers get banned. I guess Jesus. We just need him to start sports betting. True. He's not, he's not banned on Twitch officially. I think it's one of the very few platforms that he's not banned on. Oh shit. There it is. Twitch hasn't banned anybody that doesn't have a stream yet, right? They does Trump count? Um, Trump stream. No, no, Trump had a stream. <laughs> he yeah. he fucked he up. He like needed to delete his Twitch stream. That's why he's gonna lose the next election. <laughs> 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 he had, well, he he had, he would do like restream rallies. I guess that counts. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, I feel when Andrew Tate's not banned from Twitch, but I am. Feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's pretty rough <laughs> oh. well um Devin, if you have any connects to any sports betting uh companies you let me know brother it looks like i'll be doing 40 hour sports betting uh gambles i don't think that much will change for you i think that you'll get an offer from it, like like mgm or one of these people I, I i don't know if it'll be as competitive as steak but like i think that it, i don't think much will change you can still gamble I mean, if you want as long as they pay me 100 million a month i'm cool yeah yeah that, that one so one question i have is like if if your sponsorships went down a lot, like let's say that they cut to like a tenth, um, the, just the offers aren't there, would you still be able to keep up like the velocity and like crazy spins that you do, or would you have to tone it down? Would you choose to tone it down? See, the problem with me has never been that. The problem with me is I don't know if I can slow it oh, down. Oh shit! Train is unironically <laughs> fucking addicted. Yeah, so the, so the question is <laughs> Even after all this time? Yes, that's how addictions work. And it gets fucking paid to be addicted. When does it end? So, like, so like, when well, you die so the, or oh, when like yeah. all of your family cuts you off and you're like, life is over. <laughs> so the question here is, isn't, uh, will the uh, intensity of my bets go down? The question is, how fast will my stream or how fast will each individual daily stream end? Will I be able to go for three, four, five, six, seven, twenty hours? You know, depending on the site's RTP or the slots RTP or whatever the fuck I'm playing, right? Like that's that's the question. I I'm going in. Well, whatever the max train made is. the number one mistake and he got it twisted. Rip. Are you yeah, just going to be like a homeless guy waving your dick at traffic? Like, do we need to worry about you? Like, well, I don't... that's you know, I'll keep it a buck fifty. I <laughs> when I hook the friends up with the juice, you know. I expect nothing, but I always add that little joke in, you know, listen, bro, don't worry about it. But if I'm homeless in 25 <laughs> years, listen, just buy me dinner for a night and we're even. Okay. So listen, I got at least like at least three or four years of dinners purchased uh, uh, beforehand. So I, I should uh, dinner wise. I think I'm good. As far as a place to stay, it'll probably be the streets. Yes. But hopefully <laughs> things will be fine. Shit, man. <clears throat> I didn't realize it was like that. Like, like I was like, oh, just like cut your your bets in half by like fifty percent, spend like a hundred dollars instead of two thousand. Yeah, the the, pro the problem is it's like, like that's why I, I've even told Steak like I I honestly don't think I'd even want to do un unless there was something that changed. I I can't do the I'm not gonna do the two thousand uh, dollar uh limit thing. Really? Because well that that like, it goes against what I preach. Like I wouldn't yeah. be having I wouldn't be having fun. At that point, I'd be doing it to sell it, and that goes against my shit. So I, I wouldn't be able to do it. I need something where I can go in, whether that's sports betting, whether that's slots that I can bet at least, at least in my opinion, somewhere between minimum two hundred to four hundred dollars. It has to be minimum there, otherwise I don't get my heart on. So it's like, 
that's the old, like, uh, I, yeah, I just have to wait for these uh, uh, US-based sites to hit me up. Obviously, it won't be the way it is because the brick and mortar guys, even them, like, I, I've had offers from some brick and mortar casinos to, like, fly over and uh, do a sponsored event with yeah. the brick and mortar casinos in Las Vegas, right? But even them, they were offering, like, $1 million for, like, a weekend, right? And it's like, bro, like... Imagine the, fucking know? doing a job for the weekend for just a million dollars. Like, well, who the fuck yeah, do you think just you like, are? What a yeah, waste of fucking time. Do you even get out of bed yeah, for that? <laughs> seriously, unreal. It's, it's fucking crazy. That, that's not even worth a, a, half of Hassan's house. Like, why the fuck would I do that? True. <laughs> <laughs> It, it is it is crazy. Uh, I was doing a live streaming platform deal for someone, and um, the the hour per stream that they would be streaming came out to twenty eight thousand dollars an hour. And I was trying to think like, what in life can I do that would make me twenty eight thousand dollars an hour? Right? Like, there's not a single fucking thing I could do. It's such a crazy, unimaginable amount of money. Like when you well, like when you, just like literally, that's the dollar per hour. Yeah. That's 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 how much that person will be making off that deal. It's well, even worse what, when guys? you realize they're all just glorified fucking man babies. Fucking streamers, dude. Well, what's even worse than that is I'm pretty pissed off this gambling news came out at this time. I just lost $40 million, so it's not too good. I mean, it's not like you were going to win it back gambling. <laughs> I was gonna win it back. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Next second, yeah, you were in line right after Slicker to make it all he's, back. He's yeah. just about to pay everybody no. back. He's the next <laughs> guys, I'm gonna keep it a buck. That, that's the one thing that I'm a little happier on Twitch. They're, they're giving me until October 18th to win it back. So okay, I'm, I'm good to go, boys. <laughs> Jesus. Do, do you like have like an existential crisis if you're down that much? It's such an unimaginable amount of money. Yeah, it's, down. It, it, it's it's been a roller coaster. Where even like even. Even like Eddie was like, I don't know how your like your mental must be fucking shot because yeah. like it's because like you don't understand like a lot of times I say if 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 someone like leaked my DMs with steak, they would be pissed. Like the the person leaking would be pissed, assuming that he's on the side of it's fake. I roast these motherfuckers, bro. I go in on them when I'm getting and just eating alive. I'm like, you fucking scammers. Like, give me that some loss back, this and that. Like, I'm roasting these motherfuckers. Like, are you kidding me? How the fuck can I have a goddamn $22 million swing in 26 hours? That's ridiculous. I roast these motherfuckers, bro. Like, it pisses me the fuck off. I get Wait, really Wait, what angry. pisses you up when you lose? No, no, when I lose, <laughs> when I go on a RTP swing, that's, that, that, that's, 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 unfathomable right like rtp should like generally be around obviously it's over 10 billion spins which is a fucking scam of its own but it's like it should be around 90 to 100 percent my shit's like at 74 percent when i go into 26 million dollar swing so you better bet your ass someone's getting some flack and you better bet your ass like when i'm juicing up i'm on my, I'm on my phone just fucking writing paragraphs you, you can imagine i'm sure you some destiny I'm dude like, i remember we used to play call of duty you're like i'm gonna fucking tweet treyarch on this fucking bullshit rng now you're just yeah, doing the casinos bro, okay go, in on these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus. What is RTP? Uh, my guess return is going to be it's a return. Yeah, every uh, return to player. Yeah. Every gambling thing should have like a theoretical like percentage return. I'm guessing to where like if you spin a yes. hundred or a thousand or a million times, theoretically you're getting back anywhere from probably what ninety to ninety five percent. Yeah. 96 point yeah so bri so brick and mortar it's actually funny because no one ever talks about this but uh online slots whether it's us based or uh outside of us based online slots are generally 96.5 percent rtp mm -hmm. which, which is probably a lot higher than brick and mortar i imagine right brick and mortar on average is 80 yeah. percent rtp i yeah. think it was the rule when i worked in um, iowa i think by law casinos have to have that number posted somewhere don't they for players on every so, machine i think yeah i don't know if it's on every machine but i know the very least of the casino that i worked at there was like a yeah. theoretical so brick return that had to be posted is, every day like brick and mortar is just a straight like it's a straight fucking scam like in terms of when i say scam i don't mean scam i just mean scam in terms of shit talking like well i guess i mean in terms of scam too like what the fuck 80 percent like at least bring that shit up to 96 and a half percent like a three and a half percent edge is still billions of dollars in profit right 80% is just greedy. Well, hold on, hold greedy. on, chill. Brick and mortar is a way different experience, right? Like, you can sit at your computer and gamble, but you don't have servers bringing you free drinks. You don't have the entire environment of the casino. You're not subsidizing, like, the hotels and the comps and shit. You're not going to get That's a meal true. fucking comped from steak, <laughs> right? Or a hotel room for a night if you lose your ass on fucking blackjack or roulette or something, you know? Yeah, that's true, yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, so you're paying for it. The, pl the plan is royal suite at Caesar's Palace, okay? All expenses paid um x million dollars per month 
you go downstairs, live stream, sit down in the high stakes, and pull. 100% I'll be there, bro, with a goddamn, oh yeah, cigar in the mouth, a nice McKellen whiskey in my fucking uh, other hand, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll have an assistant pulling the lever, not even me. <laughs> this is are only you, um, an evolution to your next form. <laughs> are you allowed yet to like record or film in casinos? Or do they still get really mad at yes, that? Yes, there are certain sponsorships that allow you to uh, record your slot play. Okay, okay. Plus, isn't it ultimately up to the casino to... It is. The, there are YouTubers yeah. that do that currently. They live stream. Mm -hmm. their, like on YouTube, there's live streamers that live stream live play. I don't know if you can stream online sites, but I know you can stream live play in Las Vegas. Mm hmm I want to say a long time when I worked, you were like filming in casinos was always just like not allowed. Like if security was saying yeah, they just tell yeah. you, they'd kick you the fuck out. I mean, but it makes sense as for to security why. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, security, card counting, shit like that. Like learning strategies, learning in and outs of, you know, whether it's for like robbery or like casing a place. I think right? the like, robbery was always the scary thing. Yeah. They don't want it to yeah. seem like you're yeah up to no good. <laughs> what a wild week it's been, guys. <laughs> Are we I'm pretty nuts? Yeah. Are we chilling for a bit, dude? When it rains, it pours <laughs> like all this. This is like fucking crazy. Yeah. Just everybody comes out of the woodwork and it just like drops everything that they were waiting for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's just Trey, a I, I, I was surprised you left the tweet up. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! If, that that if, was pretty metal. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you knew, like, what, like the the problem is, there was just so like that, bro. That call was everything, man. Like, if you are like, oh, y'all don't even. It, that's the crazy part. You guys don't even know. Like, what, what XTC was saying was <laughs> I can completely. I XTC can imagine. Was, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people trying to save a lot of people's asses, of course. Well, well, what XQC was saying was accurate. Like, like not even just the saving ads, just like what what was threatened to me, what was threatened to be fabricated for me. Like, just like you have no idea. Like, there is. Sure, I just, I just, I'd be really careful about vague posting around this because shit's gonna go crazy if you. Yeah, but it's Just be careful. a fact I have to live with. That's like, it's people. When people know that you're an easy target and people want you to be the villain, it's very easy for people to have a leverage to threaten you, especially when, you know, do you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, I know. What you I mean. will vague post all the fuck I want in turn. Like, I don't give a fuck what these people or posts or Reddit posts think. Like, at the end of the day, I know, you know what I mean? I know what I know. I have my proofs. I have my, you know, shit, you know. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. Like I said, prepare for war if you wanna come at me. At this point, I'm fucking <laughs> done with this shit. I'm <laughs> serious. I'm done with this shit, bro. I've been sitting here. I've been sitting in my shit for how long? Four fucking years. These people pretend like it's a gambling thing. It ain't a gambling thing. Destiny, you, you tell me what they did for Gordon Ramsay. You tell me these exact people. Did, let's not pretend like it was a different group. Pokemon, Hassan, all of them. Same group of people that sat there in the groups. Oh, he should be sued. He should. This isn't okay. You're watching whole TV shows. What happened a year? No, later? that's true, dude. I was real happy three or four years ago. I was hedging my bets because of all those people. I was like, I'm. I don't do any React content. I'm the only guy on this platform that still plays video games. Like Train and all these motherfuckers are gonna get banned, and I'll be riding high. And then everybody started to switch over to React content. And I'm like, fuck me, dude. Hassan all literally like grew. People don't know this, but Hassan grew from a 2K Andy to 10 to 15K off of a 90 Day Fiance. 90 Day Fiance. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. He, like these guys came at me, like they didn't just come at me. They pushed for my deep platforming. Do you understand? They pushed for that. Did you understand what it's like to sit there? Everyone's doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting anxious and stressed. This no, point. I have no idea. Tell me about it. Okay, shut up. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like what I'm saying is, like, and then a year later, they, they just go shamelessly fucking start doing it. They, they don't even apologize or look back and say, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have went so hard on train and pushed for his ban and said you should be sued. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And they go watch the same exact thing. It's not even, it's not even about, it's a different video. The same yeah, fucking true. series. <laughs> They've been uh, doing this to me for years. They, they act like gambling just came at me and that's the heat that was on me. Nah, motherfuckers. You've been giving me heat for the last four fucking years. No matter what I fucking do, there's an excuse and narrative to why it shouldn't be done. It's the stupidest fucking thing. And it's all because I won't join up and uh, uh, bend over backwards so they can stick their fucking metaphorical dick in my ass. Like, that, that's what it's for. I'm telling you, that's literally what it's for. It's a deep, corrupt fucking monopolization of of large creators all for the fact for them to stay to immortalize themselves to forever stay in the game forever stay relevant every time someone comes up that's a, the new thing you'll see they'll, they'll get jumped on and if they don't assimilate to that 
you will see instantly the next day something they will band together and try to push that individual out whether it's aiden ross whether it's kai whether it doesn't matter and then the people that join like Tarek, right they jumped on Tarek. Tarek joined you see what happens full support full backing full everything all the tools to his disposal it it goes deep like this people think i'm delusional i'm just spewing shit. i'm not it goes deep like this yeah i love how like <laughs> the, the like if you look at a lot of these streamers and like how they have to release information even like like as an agency right like I, I, there's like nukes you can drop but you have to be so professional about like train is literally like russia with the one guy in the nuclear silo push it with the red button and just like fucking waiting for someone and he, he's just like i'm lighting one off let's do it yeah. and like I, they, it's, it's so dangerous to tweet at this fucking guy True. and he just he comes back like somehow has like this fucking congress level archive of fucking information about every person. You're fucking Batman. Like, you have a plan against the Justice League for every individual. And Listen, <laughs> the minute they go rogue... I'll give... Insane. I mean, I will give Train credit, some credit here, but I will also say, how fucking dumb do you have to be to fuck with people when you've got skeletons like that in your closet? Yeah. Like, yeah. people always call me brave and shit because That's of me going against I people. Said. The only reason why I'm so comfortable going against people is I don't usually do fucking shit behind the scenes. There's not, like, really anything you can leak about me well, like everything's already been fucking destiny. leaked you know but like when you've got like so much crazy shit like bro shut the fuck up <laughs> well it's well it's because that specific thing was supposed to be contained between like three people and i think the logic was that why were the three people involved <laughs> okay bro rat about themselves. if you know right, who right. wanted okay you literally just use the word okay <laughs> come on like no <laughs> shot dude huh huh what I used what word you said a word in there <laughs> that meant that that was never going to stay between three people I use the word. Mitch was one of the people that went over the house. There's no fucking way that that shit was going to stay contained. I feel like, okay. <laughs> like I don't know who up. leaked what, but like if I had to guess, it's fucking my, maybe Barry got him. I don't know Barry, but it's like Maya, Barry, and Mitch. Like, Jesus Christ. Plus, Adri's there and like her fucking friends. Like, Jesus. There's no way that that no, shit was ever staying contained. No, the involved was between five people. It was between five people. That's uh, a well, lot of people. In the streamer world, five people might as well be the fucking nation of fucking Sweden. Yeah, that you're like, yeah, fuck at that point. But I think that, but I think at the time that they all invested interest in Chile. But anyways, the, 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 here's the sure. point, okay? The point is this. I think a better comparison would be like uh, Raymond Reddington. Have you seen Blacklist? Nope. That's a better thing. Just, just think of it like that. But anyways. Okay. The, the, the other thing, Destiny, it, it isn't only that you don't do funky shit, you know, outside. It's that, or at least for my situation, right? Like, I don't sit here and pretend to be some fucking role model and pretend to be some fucking perfect angel of society. Like, do you understand? Like, I tell people, don't put me on a pedestal. Don't look up to me. You understand? Like, I'm a human. I make my mistakes. I'll continue to make mistakes. You're gonna be, you're gonna be put, you're gonna be let down. If I'm some sort of like older brother figure and you're looking up to me, you're, you're going to be let down. And that's why a lot of these people hate their fucking jobs. I'm telling you right now, a lot of streamers that do this, that, that put themselves in a role model position because in that moment they think that's what's going to, you know, uh, get net them more viewers. They hate their job. They hate streaming because of that very thing. Because now these people don't actually like them for who they actually are naturally. Streaming no longer becomes as easy as breathing. Now they have to go live and be that fucking robotic person they sold. That robotic person they created their foundation on. They have to be that. And that is a fucking uh, uh, very hard thing to be. Do you understand? It's very stressful. It's very miserable to be that. Yeah. And that's why you see these people stream two hours, three times a week, and they take six-month breaks in between. That's why. Sure. Like, yeah. and, and that's the issue. If they, if they just came on and they were just a human being that made mistakes right that grew from their mistakes and they're right, things wouldn't i mean obviously the certain you know the shit that's gone down is mm -hmm. way more extreme and obviously there's no right but you know what i'm talking about in terms of you and i we're not sitting here pretending like we're the fucking buddhas of the world mm -hmm. whatever the fuck right and i think that's a big issue and if you want to get into the high roading and virtue signal I'll, 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 I'll fucking high road virtue signal right now you want to talk about real role model real role models and sit there and act perfect do you understand because you can never be perfect when you sell the image of being perfect and everyone's sitting there at home silently watching and they know they're not, that builds so many psychological fucking bullshits within individuals that are watching something that believes they are perfect because that's what's being shown. See how many psychological and mental fucking bullshits are created when you do that? Like, so if, if you're in a virtual signal on that point, I will, I'll go deep into that. And believe me, I, I have a leg to stand on in there. So like, the, it just it's all some inconsistent bullshit meant to sell. And that's it. Just sell, 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 sell.
There was no caring about anybody. It's just, oh, it's just so corrupt, bro. I'm so fucking sick and tired of it. <laughs> okay. Holy fuck, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. You have no fucking clue, bro. You do have a clue, but you have no clue in the terms of, you know, metaphorically speaking, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you do have a clue, but you don't. <laughs> okay, gotcha. It's crazy, bro. Um, so X said he's drying off uh, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> bro, let's play Rust, uh, Dust. Get on. I, dude, I have to, I've got other shit I gotta do. It's almost my fucking bedtime. I got. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, we finally hang out. You have to leave? Well, come by more than fucking once a year, motherfucker. Fuck you. Well, I wasn't sure if we could do this or not. Do what? Like, talk. You weren't sure if we could talk? I didn't want to get G2. You know, I'm talking to you. Shut They're the going to ban up. me. Oh, my God. You're so scared. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's super chill. Like you can pop onto Destiny stream anytime. Like Twitch doesn't. <clears throat> At least I. Well, I mean. No, nah, yeah, it's fine, right? <laughs> it should be. No, well, now you're making <laughs> now me wonder. Like, Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. <laughs> Just because the level, the every time I fucking pop on here, I fucking get a bunch of dumb bullshit coming at me. So I don't know. But then I was thinking, I was like, oh, Train's used to that. True. That's whatever. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm at a point where I'm just like, fuck it. I know there was gonna be dumbasses everywhere. True. Yeah, word. I don't know, man. I got, I'm so fucking jaded from like the Twitch thing. Like Mo fucking tweeted, was like, hey, are you, are you gonna come back if like the gambling thing like clears up? And I'm like, I'm not even sure. Like outside of like popping up for podcasts, like like chilling out and stuff like that, I don't think I would. Um, I, I just like, I can't stand like who owns the platform now and like dominates the viewership and like what like like a lot of what train's saying mm -hmm. it's just 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 like it, it's so disingenuous and it, 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 and and like content in general has just gone like so far north of like where i would like it to be i don't feel like it's a website that's like um my kind of entertainment i just like go fuck with like little streams like path of exile streams and stuff or like like on the on, on the like 200 viewer streams and shit like i don't know what's really good stream wise bro what's that fuck what's that I gotta find it, bro. Like, I'm new to it completely. Uh, is it Dungeons and Dragons? Are you shitting me right now? It's <laughs> no cap. It's 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 where they do like role playing. Like like they're sitting there making like they're like voice acting, bro. I found this guy that I follow. Oh no! He, Which it, one? I Careful. Get, I, I get. Oh no. What? Well, like the acting they, they all do as a group, it, it like gives me goosebumps. So be careful what's going on. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. Wait, which about, like, person? Critical role. Are you? Yeah, wait, no, talking about no. critical role? Or it's some really smaller? No, it, no, he, he has like maybe like 40 viewers. He, he's he's this like large guy with a beard, and he does like this. Let me you know, find Destiny it. and I did Dungeons and Dragons together, like for like a long ass time. <laughs> really? Yeah. And Destiny, do you still run a, that campaign through Koibu? Yeah, we do. Wait, wait, wait. Large guy with a beard. Do you know the guy's name? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna find him my following right now. Give me a sec. Did he start? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I, listen. If there's anything bad, you let me know, and I'll be I'll unfollow it. it well, just, no, I'm not gonna say that. that. Damn, is the it? It's not a really guy named Arcadum. Have you ever heard of that dude? It's, it's, the acting was good. No, no, no. It's not right. Oh, yeah, okay. I've heard of that dude. I, it's not him. Oh, okay. okay, just check. No, yeah, no. It's, it's a, it, uh, no, I, let me find this. Uh, the context oh, here, fuck. train, is like Destiny and I. Uh, would play D and D together. Um, I took a fork in the road to support an, a, another D and D streamer, and I fucked up. <laughs> and Destiny stayed with the right DM. Oh shit! Wait, did you? Were you in the Arcadum campaign? <laughs> Bro, I was in three, two, three of his campaigns. <laughs> was it all of like OTK doing a campaign with him? Too? Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of people. Um, I, oh, I was in, no. I was in a campaign with like Moon Soda. Like we had like a whole thing. We were the last. Actually, our campaign was the last thing ever to air Damn. before it all dropped. Well, hey, what you and I remember about? I was like, damn, like, I'm mad at Koibu because he's too fucking harsh. And then I'm like, oh, shit, I fucked up. I should have stayed in that camp. <laughs> I, I actually fucked up with that whole thing. And, like, I started watching, um, what is the series that you're uh, that you're still playing? Um, I is it, a uh, like Tombs of it's Scoria. not Dicey with Death. What's it called? Tombs of Scoria is the one I'm on. Tombs of Scoria. And I was watching you fight, like, a Death Knight. Um, oh, in, Jesus like, a castle. Christ, yeah. And it was fucking sick. And I was like, shit, man, this is actually super cool. Yeah. Did you, um, oh shit, oh sorry. I was 180 or 90 degree pivot. Are you gonna get a, would you ever get a sports betting sponsor? Train? Would I? What, or train? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't run any gambling through Novo as a rule anymore. So well, like, oh, we, we, we haven't made a single dollar as an agency off of uh, gambling sponsorships. Well, I actually sports bet. I just, 
think that's like if yeah i would but the problem is it just i just think that you should do it dude be, it'd just be funny i well, would just I gonna, for the chaos it would just be funny no I, I was gonna tweet that uh well the thing is like i sports but already i just kind of do it on my own mm -hmm. right because that's like its own separate thing. Like I would, I, in my opinion, if I sports better as well on stream with my slots and black chicken roulette, I would have to spend the same energy times two to explain and, and spread the awareness of it because sports betting is way more normalized and ingrained. So then I have to do my thing. And like, realistically, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and high road with you. Like, do you think I enjoy every fucking 10 minutes playing a fucking video and sitting there and talking and explaining? I don't. But, but it's one of the things I do and I, you know, come to the middle of because that's what, what I do for me, right? Mm -hmm. But with sports betting, it would have to be like twice as hard, I feel like, because that like that to me is way more easily accessible and it's way more deeply ingrained within America's society. Like people keep talking about US, 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 like motherfuckers, like, y'all are so delusional. It's, dude, it's crazy to me. Like, he, I'm, I'll go people are saying in, um, people in my chat were saying in Europe that like betting on football is like super, super, super common for children and shit. I don't know if that's true it's or not. It's so, bro, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it is like, if you want to talk about, oh man, it's, it, you see, it's crazy how these streamers that are acting like they care about gambling, they're not saying a word, they're happy about it. Like, how does nobody with any common sense say, holy shit, was this actually about gambling? That they're, they're sitting here virtue signaling about gambling. Was this actually about gambling? Was this about execution and train? Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> do you see them saying a word about sports betting now? Yeah, of course. Do you see them saying a single fucking word? No, nothing. And sports betting, I'm telling you right now, it is a hundred times more fucking dangerous because it is normalized and accepted. Do you understand? It is seen as safe. Oh, well, sports can't be rigged. Do, 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 do. What do you mean? Like, oh, it's just, it's crazy to me, Destiny. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Apparently the uh, girl that got caught fucking on stream just did it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think way. that's a uh, no, no, no. Is it a meme? I, I looked into that, yeah. and it's 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 not true. It's it, it's like a Photoshop. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Because I've had yeah. like twenty people in my chat say it. Okay, somebody ban all these fucking fake newsers. That would have been such a fucking crazy thing if you just. <laughs> Dude, why not, man? It's fucking Twitch.tv. I'm trying. So, I'm trying to find this, uh, day, man, this time. guy I watch, bro. Like I'm telling you, like I gotta show. You, uh, I gotta link it to you guys. It's really fucking good. It gives me goosebumps, like they're acting and stuff, like... I'd like to know what it is, because I actually fuck with Critical Role. Um, that's the, like, the really big one on Twitch. I think they have the most subscribers of anybody on Twitch. And they have, there's like six or seven voice actors that do a show, and it's fucking, it's actually like legitimately fucking sick. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Full-blown D&D show, like, 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 fleshed out characters, amazing DM. Like, it's good. I also, uh, you should watch a, a Destiny's thing, Train, like the the Tomb Discoria stuff. I can never fucking f uh, find it because you, you guys, guys are always canceling like, and moving shit around. Yeah, this but been a crazy when I do watch it, it's really they good. All voice acting shit? Um, not usually, but sometimes a little. <laughs> Dude, I, I've been so fried all day. Like, I'm surprised I can fucking formulate a sentence. Is formulate a sentence even a sentence? Like, like is that yeah. even a word? Is formulate a sentence? That's correct, right? Yeah, that's good. You're good. Jesus um, Christ, XCC bro. said he fell asleep. So. You said that in his sleep? I'm going to keep it a buck. That's I said, are you use. coming? Did you finish drying off? And he said, I fell asleep. I'm like, nice. Okay. So. That's something you do like nine hours from now. Like, you know, you say that nine hours from now when you wake up from the sleep you fell to. Well. This X guy, bro. True. Okay, let me try and find this guy real quick. Uh, why is my like... Oh, that's because everyone's online for some reason. Oh, somebody linked me a Tombs of Scoria full playlist. Let's go. Let's also, go. for the people in chat, I'm fucking 100% aware that I was a crybaby baby player in EOA, okay? I fucking try to learn from my mistakes and grow as a human being as we all are, okay? Don't I'm taking a step you. back from Dungeons and & Dragons, uh, and there's a third-party investigation being launched, okay, into the... Uh, allegations, and uh, we'll, I'll, I'll come back a better person, okay? All right. It was still fun as fuck. I'd be down to do a campaign with Clubs anytime. Fuck, I don't have a home key on my keyboard. Why not? I don't know. It's like missing like three keys, but they're like keys that you never use. Where they go? <laughs> it's just my keyboard doesn't have it. Fuck you. Are you still in Florida? Yeah, Miami. 
Why don't you be a bitch and stop like stop being a bitch and move to Texas, like every other? Not because Austin. Because it's because the there's no beaches. There's like Melina likes to go outside and do stuff. There's nothing to do outside of Texas. Um, Houston has a beach, bro. <laughs> Stop. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ten minutes from South Beach, okay? I'm not going to a fucking beach in fucking Houston, okay? Um, yeah, but there's that. It's just not fun to go outside and do stuff there. Um, but we have, like, an apartment there now, so she travels back and forth. I think she's gonna. She's about to head over on the 23rd again to do shit, so. I've been surprised by Dallas. It's pretty fucking sick. There's a lot of entertainment there. Mm -hmm. And Austin has a great comedy scene. I have a question, Devin. Yo. Did I miss here, but did Twitch roll out something where... I can be partnered and stream on YouTube as well? No, um, that's a huge meme. Um, you can stream on TikTok live at the same time, but you can't stream on YouTube or Facebook at the same time. So people thought that that was exclusivity, but it's not. What you could do though, is you could go talk to like someone like Steak since you are still able to broadcast on YouTube and it actually might be worth it for you. I, this is just now thinking about this. It actually might be like financially worth it for you to consider a move to YouTube, like a full move. Because Does YouTube allow it? Yeah, YouTube, um, YouTube's fine with um, casino-based gambling. They're just going to serve it in, in the discovery differently. So the, the rules on that are you have to apply manually through Google for a certification um, as an online casino. Uh, but th that's that's their own private certification. And then from there, they're not going to serve your stream in the same way as they would like, um, like they'll, they'll effectively demonetize it for ads, but you don't care about that anyway, because you're going for the, the monthly, right? You might be able to operate exactly the same as you would on Twitch, um, just by moving over to YouTube with that same sponsorship. Ah, uh, well, I've always wanted to grow my YouTube because I feel like, you know, especially, <clears throat> I, I I just feel like Twitch has the wrong. Twitch caters to the very people that have no loyalty to anything, and then they are shocked. That's why they're losing streamers, right? Like, yeah, that's why and, and, are, yeah. yeah, and and then they're shocked when those very streamers that they invested all the money for and the support paycheck, into yeah. ditch. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then it's like I'm sitting here like someone that like has proven, right? Like. I'll take the lower hit, the you know, the lower pay to have a little bit of loyalty and backing, right? These motherfuckers don't do shit. They don't do fucking shit. I mean, even when when I run events that are good, nothing. It's like they're, you know, what I mean, it's like at that point, Twitch realistically is dead end in that sense. Like, are they not? Like, if you grow your Twitch and Twitch decides to say fuck it, right? Nothing. You can't do anything. You're fucked. Yeah. But if you grow YouTube, right? You stream on YouTube. Like through that, you gain your subs. You can make videos. Like there's so many things and so many avenues that open up. And that's one thing I've always talked about YouTube, like on my streams, like, and, and that's the only place where Twitch needs to excel in. There needs to yeah. be something else that builds, you know, like, it, you it know, blows like, my fucking mind yeah, go, is that we ahead. still don't have clips.twitch.tv with a fucking simple upvote system. You just steal from live stream fail for fucking clips that can be upvoted on the website itself. And people can make comments on it why, as a form of discovery. Why do we not have this after five years? Let, let Twitch like has to outsource that shit to, uh, to fucking Reddit. I just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get it. There, there's there's like, there, the, my, like you, you don't want to build out like a whole VOD system and compete with YouTube. Okay, fine. But like, like fucking at least do clips. Like what the fuck? It, I just, I don't get it. <sighs> yeah. The, um, I, I, I think the person who is like actually leading the charge in terms of like big brain shit is Ninja right now, where he's multi-streaming to every single platform. And he had something like 20 to 25,000 people on TikTok live, which has only gone down to like 12 to 15,000 while simultaneously streaming on Twitch, Meta, Facebook, and Twitter. No, um, I think picking like two to three is good. I like, I don't like maybe for Ninja it works because there's a lot of hype around it, but I don't think having a normal person spreading their audience like super thin is generally good. It's not the same audience. It's a, it's what do you a think about... Uh... It could be, I guess. It depends on how mm -hmm. much reach you have or what you're doing, what kind of content you're doing. What do you think about a multi-stream, loose partnership, multi-stream on Twitch and YouTube for the remainder of this month and through October and prepare for a switch? I, I think that if... So my concern for you specifically is that... So normally what you would do... I, I would, like if, 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 if the announcement today had not come out, I would say you should drop partnership 100%. It, that, that, that it doesn't benefit you all. You should multi-stream 100% and then just continue what you're doing. The problem is that even if you drop partnership, if the Twitch terms of service are updated to not allow gambling 
um, in, in the way that you've been doing it, you still can't do it even if you're not a partner. So that is why you might want to look at YouTube as an actual like transition solution. No, no, no. I'm yeah. talking about like for, for the transitioning process. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Multi-stream for the transitioning process. To, like, Shit. Yeah. To, to, I, you know what I'm saying? I, to, e to ease up the switch, right? Like a lot of people mm -hmm. just switch instantly. But if I stream on both, loose ownership now, stream on both, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, smooth over the switch. It's just, it just yeah, I mean, like, they me ain't also gonna like write it. You they, they, they ain't gonna like it, but like, they've shown no loyalty to me at all. And I don't give a fuck, you know, what they want to say about gambling or not. They're catering 100%. I mean, the, the, their post in itself, if you read it, it shows that. Like, and to me, it's just, it's, I mean, like, I agree with the ban on certain individuals. So I'm like, th that's why I'm not, too, I'm not too disappointed about the ban because I do think there are certain individuals that shouldn't be able to do what they're doing in the gambling section. So huh. like, in that sense, I'm kind of, I'm kind of relieved and happy for that. That's why I'm not like taking it too like hard. Otherwise, I'd probably be, you know, sad in my corner of the room. I'd be uh -huh. so low and not in this call talking about it. But at the same time, I just feel, I really feel like maybe this is wrong of me to feel this way. Maybe this is egotistical of me or maybe narcissistic of me to feel this way. But I feel like they should have maybe even just reached out a little bit to me. Maybe. I feel like. I, I, feel I mean, like even I, I Asmund like, got snuffed, right? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Are you talking about? Wait, are we still talking about Twitch? Yes. What? Yeah. Remember, didn't Asman talk about when he was trying to negotiate a contract a long time ago? They wouldn't even talk to him. This is drama, like yeah. a year ago, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. And yeah. Asman is what, like twenty thirty k? Asman's a loyal guy too. And he's yeah. been streaming on Twitch for like fucking almost as long as I have, I think. Right? Isn't he like a ten year yes. streamer or something? Like he is. Yeah. He is, yes. But, well, uh, but there's no loyalty there. They're just they're not going to offer paid contracts to anyone that they don't. Think, yeah. Because um, he's safe. Is a th yeah. Well, yeah. well, from what I heard, there was only two streamers they're worried about losing. Mm-hmm. Well, YouTube me. has a very particular way of selecting for broadcasters that they pay. They're looking for people that make events-based content. So those are the people that um, yeah. they are going to offer contracts to well, keep. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. from, from what I understand, there's only two people that, are, that they're afraid to lose. So like Twitch mm -hmm. is like, like, like I said, like this is what I've heard. I don't know um, how accurate it is. Um, the person who told me it was pretty credible, but like I said, I don't know how accurate it is so to come to your own conclusions. But oh, from sure. what I heard, Twitch has gotten to a place where... Um, who they're afraid to lose isn't coming down to the size of the streamer. They're coming down to who can be replaced uh -huh. and who is irreplaceable, right? Okay, real quick, and, give me your final statements on these things because more shit is okay. dropping. So I'm about to start yeah. reading stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, I will. Uh -huh. And the two people that they believe are irreplaceable are Nick Merckx and Pokimane. So those are the only two people that, uh, it, to my knowledge, are going to be backed by Twitch uh, heavily. Other than that, there's no one else and i think it's a mistake so i think there's a lot of a lot of other loyal people and i don't even think the people that, you know i think nick Merckx is a loyal guy but i, I just <laughs> anyways continue there's let's, a bunch to talk about here but if, if, if you've got to go cover the drama shit we can we can peace out destiny um okay yeah there's just a few clips and stuff i need to watch too so i'm gonna sleep okay you want us to hang out or um no i'm probably just gonna watch this to sleep because it's already fucking past my all right time. Okay. train i'll uh, check your dms because i think there's something th there's something there that we can we should talk about okay cool all right, cool. All right, dude, dude it's right. good catching up, guys. Uh -huh. Let's actually get on a call right now. Let's get yeah, on the yeah, boys okay. and call you down. All right, cool. Yeah. Bye. I'm done. All right. Be careful. All right, I'm Destiny, take it easy, brother. Destiny, I'll, I'll are you see. sure, bro, you want to leave, bro? I just I'm don't fucking tired. Longer. Yes, I got to no. do shit. Fuck you. My little desk. I miss my little desk. I love you, buddy. Be careful. Uh, no, nah, desk, don't leave. No, don't leave just yet. Give me five more minutes, please. Just five more minutes with me, please. Okay. Okay. No, I'm no. Hold on, I'm tired. I gotta leave. I gotta do my no, shit. No, no, Des, come on. I'm so bro. tired. Come I have to do shit. On. I love you. Okay, if you really love me, you'll come, come back later. You'll come on, back later bro. instead of doing this abusive shit, the cycle okay, of abuse. You just come tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Tomorrow? Yeah, I'll stream tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow you're alive. Tomorrow you're alive. Yeah, I will. I, I'm live every fucking day. Okay. Okay. Right. I love you. Bye. If I'm if I'm streaming, I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Jesus, fuck me. Okay, I don't know. If I'm gonna read this. Apparently, it's from a no fucking follower account. Um. Yeah, you guys can decide on that one. No Vru is... But anyways... Yo, I'm just trying to figure out... Oh my god, I remember this. The Death Note investigation? Jesus. Okay, let me chew, chew through these real quick. OH MY GOD! Miss Kif, or Keef, whatever that guy's name is. Bro, he got put on leave from offline TV.
Yeah, but because, you know, Mississippi's a grown ass man, and in 2018, he was, it was not like he was fucking a teenager or some shit. Nigga, he was a grown ass man still. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not, it's not, bro, that word is not tolerated. If you are not this skin color, you cannot, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you, bro, it's something, it's, it's like the. Oh my God, who fucking cares? Thoughts on Destiny ghostwriting for XQC during that debate? <laughs> I saw that clip. I mean, I mean, Destiny's great at debating, man. It would make sense that uh, XQC would consult them. I think that debate really went off the rails, though. Uh, they just kept going in circles until, once again, Adriana came in there to like actually steer the ship on the important subjects. Because the rest was actually just going in complete circles, just chasing their own tail. Thoughts on Destiny ghost- True. Um, true. We didn't watch this. I might watch this tomorrow. True, true, true. Okay. Um, okay. I um, I love you all. It's been a uh, wicked fun time. Um, make sure to, uh, what's my new TikTok? Or I'm sorry, my new Twitter, I don't know yet. Here, go follow my TikTok though. That's a important one. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube too. Love you all, it's been fun. I'll be back tomorrow. Who knows if there'll be more drama or if we'll be chill. Um, <clears throat> I have something in the works right now. I might have, I'll te I'm gonna tease something a little bit, okay? I'm gonna tease something a little bit. I might have, maybe, it's like 10% right now. I might have a very, very, very special debate coming up, maybe. If it is coming up, it'll happen in like a week or two, okay? Um, but I'm still waiting on like a confirmation on if, um, I can't even say who's organizing it, but I have a, it'll be, it'll be a fun debate. Maybe a good debate, we'll see. But I'll, I'll keep you guys more in the, more in the loop on that one uh, in a few days, so. <clears throat> Um, yeah. I love you guys, it's been fun. Um, is it right or left? I'm not gonna say if it's a right or left leaning person, but I will say probably the, well, e I think easily the biggest debate I've probably done ever, I think. But. Uh, okay, I love you guys. It's been fun. Red burrito, cappuccino, puppuccino, hoppuccino, mappuccino, deppuccino, cappuccino, appuccino, albuccino, my deuterinos. I will catch you guys next. Streamerino.